Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to another trailer reaction. Today we're going to be checking out the brand new trailer for Scream 6. Alright, so this just dropped this morning a few hours ago. Um, I just saw that it was up and I thought, alright, we let's get together and watch the trailer together. So, I... I'm sure you're noticing, whether you're new to the channel or not, that we've got some butterflies going on. Please just ignore that. It's kind of a long story. Um, but yeah, we, we have pretty butterflies today, so yay! <laughs> Hope it doesn't detract too much from the horror movie trailer that we're about to react to, but you know, things happen. Okay, so I'm pretty excited about this. Um, again, if you guys have been following the channel, you know that I did a reaction to Scream 5. Um, here and i also did a reaction to scream 4 for patreon exclusively for patrons to watch so i've been really catching up on the later entries in the scream series and i'm really curious to see what this latest trailer has in store for us so let's check it out together the trailer for street scream 6. here we go oh yes that's right there in new york city Oh uh oh! Got a problem here, guy? Not the New York bodega. Uh oh. Yeah, of course there's gonna be somebody with a uh uh. Bro, you had a gun, and you failed. Now Ghostface has a gun. Okay, that's pretty scary. Oh no, it's like the kids at Jurassic Park! Why does his mask look so, like... Falling apart? The There's a darkness inside of me. Ooh. It followed me here. And it's gonna keep coming for us. So did we all go to New York sure to go to college? Street. There's Kirby! This isn't like any other ghost face. Hmm. What is this place? A shrine. We've got to serial killers in general or just a ghost face? Hello. Oh, oh do we? You know you're like the tenth guy to try this, right? It never <laughs> works out for the dipshit in the mask. Oh shit! Someone just got got behind her. Huh. So is this gonna be the movie where it happens for Gale? Different. That's why I'm gonna shoot you in the head. Yeah, there was an F bomb. Come out there! <laughs> oh. You oh god. Oh god, that ladder thing looks really creepy! Oh no. Oh, nice. not a subway thing. Of course, a subway thing. Oh, look at all of the Halloween costumes with the different scary uh, movie monsters and killers. Oh. The subway sound! Okay. All right. Well, that was the trailer for Scream 6. Okay. So, I do think it's fun that the movie is being set in... Um, New York City. Um, I went to school uh, down in Manhattan, so I used to be traveling quite a bit around down there every day. Um, so the sounds and sights of, of, you know, the subway are very familiar. <laughs> but yeah, and the bodega. But so it's going to be very interesting for me to actually check out how this how this is done uh, in a big city setting. That's one of the things that appeals to me, I guess, the most about this sequel. Since, of course, Scream as a series is primarily focused on Woodsboro, which is a relatively small town. Um, we branched out of it a little bit, but for the most part, it's in Woodsboro, so this is a, a very different sort of setting uh, for Ghostface to make an appearance. I liked the scene on, on the subway where they showed, it looked like there was multiple different Ghostfaces, which 
you know, makes sense if it's Halloween, but they also had all the different, like, I saw a Pinhead, I saw Freddy Krueger, so there was lots of, of different horror monsters and horror uh, movie villains and killers in there that people were dressed up as, so nice little um, homage they can make by setting it during Halloween, and also, you know, setting these movies in Halloween always gives them a convenient excuse for people to be running around wearing ghost face masks at all time. Um, so some things that I've been thinking about and I'm curious about, of course, I think the big one that most people are going to be curious about is, is this the movie where Gail is going to die? Um, uh, there was a lot of speculation, you know, once we heard that Courtney Cox was coming back, but Neff Campbell had decided against returning because she did not feel that, um, the offer they made to her was, was fair, which fair on her. Um, and so at that point we knew, okay, Gail is going to be the only one of the original characters returning. Are they going to give her like a big death send off? And I feel like this trailer has definitely set it up to make us think that that's going to happen. I don't know if that makes it more or less likely that it actually does. Um, but I will say I wouldn't be surprised if it does. I, one of the things that related to that that I was also thinking is that yes they've brought back Kirby who was a fan favorite and who people were uncertain whether she was alive or dead um, after four and they've brought back um, the surviving new crew from five but but other than Gale here there's no long-standing really characters of the series other than you know the ephemeral ghost face um, so it kind of leaves me thinking that pretty much anybody could potentially die in this. And they've set it up so that you you don't feel like anyone's safe. Because normally you'd feel like, all right, well, Gail and Sydney are probably safe. But they took out Dewey last time and there's no Sydney this time. It's just Gail. So I'm kind of feeling like there's a chance that pretty much anybody could go. Which ups the stakes a little bit. Makes it a little bit more interesting to me. Um... Especially because, so they, they put hints towards Sam's Billy familial relationship, and I'm wondering if the weird, like, visions of him are going to come back into play, or if <laughs> if not. But I, I, they've tried to make us view this as, okay, she's got this darkness inside of her. But, you know, even though she was the main character in Scream 5... I think you can kind of see that even from this trailer. Ever since that movie came out, Jenna Ortega has kind of blown up a bit. Um, so they kind of are holding a, a similarly prominent position in this trailer, the two of them, the sisters. So I I feel like, and like I said before, you know, there's Gail and then there's Kirby, who everyone's excited about. I'm not sure if we're actually even going to have a main character so much as a bunch of characters who are significant and any of them could potentially die. Um, so I kind of like that. I kind of like that that leaves more possibilities open. Um, I'm also curious about, so there was the shrine. Is this just, I'll have to go back and look at it more, but is this just a shrine to Ghostface and to all the previous Ghostfaces that have taken this on and then tried to kill people um, in in their reality or is it a shrine to just killers in general i'm curious because one of the things that i'm wondering listening to this the ghost face talking to gail is like i'm different than any other one that came before you're in this massive city so it's not necessarily so easy uh for them to trap people in secluded locations as it is in like woodsboro you know, so I'm kind of curious if this is going to try to incorporate, if this is just going to be like an obsessive fanboy shrining, or is it going to be something more elaborate, like some sort of ghost face cult, and it's going to be a group maybe, so that there might be like multiple ghost faces working together? Because that's something that they could potentially explore if you're in this kind of larger setting maybe maybe and that would definitely be something that would uh make it scary obviously they've they've done the two people thing in scream so many times that you never know bringing it up to many more than that could be 
could be interesting in some capacity. So I guess we'll see. But so far, yeah, the trailer looked good. Oh, and the other thing. So they showed a lot of the time when they were showing the ghost face and they hold, they showed um, Sam holding the same mask. There's a ghost face mask that looked like really worn um, and old. And so I'm wondering, because we also had the shrine, maybe they're going to be like, this was Billy's actual mask. And so, like, this one one person wearing the ghost face mask is wearing, like, the original ghost face mask. And so, yeah, I'm curious if that's what it's going to be, because it looks much more worn out than usual. Not so clean and shiny. But all right, I'm going to wrap this up here. So I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts as well about the trailer and what do you think the movie is going to be like. Thank you so much for joining me and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.